Inscribing a circle in a triangle. Given a triangle, draw two arcs using an arbitrary length on any of the three vertices. Bisect both arcs. The intersection of the two bisectors will mark the center of the circle. Draw a perpendicular line from the center to any of the sides of the triangle. The distance from the center to the side of the triangle will be the radius of the circle. Circumscribing a circle on a triangle. Given a triangle, draw perpendicular bisectors on two sides of the triangle. The intersection of the bisectors is the center of the circle. From the center, draw the circle from one end point of the triangle. Constructing a square, given one side. Make a perpendicular bisector at one end point. Strike the distance of the given line to the perpendicular bisector. Using the same distance, strike an arc from the other end point of the given side and the end point of the perpendicular bisector. The intersection is the fourth vertex of the square. Inscribing a square in a circle. Construct your circle using the given radius. Draw the diameter from any point. Draw the perpendicular bisector to this diameter. Trace the four points that intersect the circle to construct your square. Inscribing a hexagon in a circle. Construct your circle using the given radius.
draw the diameter from any point. Using the radius, strike the circle at one end point of the diameter. Do the same for the other end point. Trace your points to construct your hexagon. Inscribing a pentagon in a circle. Construct your circle using the given radius. Draw the diameter from any point. Using the concept of bisecting a line into an equal number of n segments, divide the diameter into five parts. Using the distance of the diameter, draw arcs above the circle from the two endpoints of the diameter. From the intersection of the arcs, trace a line to the second intersection point of the diameter. Take note, this line should intersect the circle at the other end. From the intersection of the circle, at the other end, measure the distance from the nearest end point of the diameter. Trace the points to construct your pentagon. Constructing regular polygons, given a side. Construct a square using the given side. Draw the diagonals of the square. Trace arcs along the diagonals using the given distance.
draw a line through the intersections created by the arcs and the diagonals. Bisect this line. Label the intersection points 4, 5, 6, which pertains to the number of sides of the polygon you wish to construct. If you wish to construct a polygon with more than 6 sides, strike the distance of the line segment 4, 5, to the area above point 6. For this example, we will use point 7. The distance from point 7 to one of the endpoints of the given side will act as the radius of the circle circumscribing the polygon. Now, measure the distance of the given line. From one endpoint, strike this distance along the circle. Trace the points to construct your polygon.